Yo, how is it going lads? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, what I have for you guys is a Bundesliga Player of the Month video. Now, this is discussing the SBC, investments, trading, a lot of good stuff in this video is being discussed. So hopefully you guys come away with it with a little bit of information, maybe a potential to make some coins and a little bit of excitement as well. So if you do go on to enjoy this video, smash the like down below, subscribe to the channel if you guys aren't subscribed already. It goes a long way. It's very motivating as well. It just means a lot. So I'd really appreciate if you guys could subscribe to the channel. You guys seem to really like the Ultimate Screen video I did yesterday. So I thought I'd do this one today or this morning um, and tomorrow. We might possibly have a pretty cool video going live on the channel as well. So stay tuned for that. I'm not going to mention anything. I'm not going to spoil anything. Just stay tuned for that. It's going to be a pretty cool video. So player of the month. Now, all we know is that in the database, there is a red card labeled player of the month. Now, although that is like Bundesliga player month, this is sorry. And although that is well and good, that, that also means that it might not necessarily be Bundesliga player of the month and the reason I say that is because the foot swap cards that we got today If I go and show you guys right now the foot swap cards in the database are like these cool lime green uh, Multicolored ones whereas the ones we got today are these black with splashes on the back. So it begs the question What are these cards in the database if they aren't what they say they are maybe EA are trying to pull some strings Maybe they're trying to bring out some cool things. Maybe they're trying to mess with our minds not entirely sure but we're going to go off assumption here and we're going to go off the assumption that the database is correct. And uh, and if we're going to go off the assumption that is the database is correct, let's talk about the Bundesliga Player of the Month. So, the Bundesliga Player of the Month, according to BundesligaFanatic.com, is Andre Duda. Duda has scored five goals in five games. He's won three, drawn one and lost one, playing for Hertha Berlin. And he scored a debut brace, or not debut brace, sorry, a, a first brace against Schalke. Not only that, but one of the wins was in a 2-0 win against Bayern Munich, which is pretty interesting. And Duda is currently a silver card. Now, if I was to predict a card, I think they would give to Duda, being that he is a silver. I'm going to pick one up on the market, by the way. Given that he is a silver, I'd probably give him a card that looks something like this. Now, this card has been upgraded to an 81 so it would be a plus eight now bearing in mind duda also has five uh, sorry four star skills and four star weak foot um i think they give him a big upgrade just because i think that they'd want it to they, they'd want the spc to be done so i'd predict a card something around here it might even have over 70 shooting it might even be higher rated than this um and apologies as well for the um for the uh, slovakian uh kit in the dynamic image i couldn't find a single image anywhere of him playing for Hertha Berlin. I couldn't find a single dynamic image. So, uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to go with Slovakia here. However, I'd give him 76 pace, 83 dribbling, and 76 passing. It'd be a pretty average, pretty cheap, but it would be a good benchmark and first SBC to do, in my opinion. It would be a good way to move into potentially getting like a Lewandowski in a couple of months, or maybe getting like a Royce, or maybe getting... I don't know, maybe an Axel Witzel if he plays really well or something. I'm not entirely sure, but it would be a good benchmark. However, that all depends if this red card is what it says it is, and it is a Bundesliga Player of the Month. Because we don't actually know, and if it is, then in terms of investments, there is a lot to be made, if you ask me. And don't ask me why there's a load of informed Harry Maguire's on my... Um, <laughs> transfer list. Let's just not talk about it, okay? I was watching them for a good reason. Has nothing to do with the fact that you lot think I look like Harry Maguire. I was watching him for a good reason, okay? That reason is between me and Harry Maguire and me and Harry Maguire only. So keep your nose out, all right? Um, in terms of investments, though, there's a few different routes you guys could take. Uh, the first one, I would look at someone like Horn, for example. Sorry, not Horn. Um, I would look at someone like... Um, I would personally look at someone like Borman, for example. I think this would be a pretty decent investment. Footbin has him at about 1,000 coins, so I'd probably invest in a couple of this guy. I think that this would probably be a sound investment to make. You could even, late at night right now, it's currently 3 a.m., waiting for the McGregor fight, obviously. Probably be a better idea to try and bid on a couple of these cards, to be honest. If you see one going for a, a low bid, try and bid on it. 700 coins, I'd take that 100%. A lot of these cards are probably going to go to you because there's not a whole lot of people right now on the market buying up players so it's probably a decent way to uh to secure a few bids if you ask me another one i'd probably say is ralph farman currently going for a similar price uh also an 83 rated now he is a goalie as well so you want to try and branch out your investments to not just goalies you want to try and get um 
get some outfield players in there if possible. The best thing to do is go onto Footbin and uh, and look at outfield outfield rares or non rares from maybe the rating of like 85 to 80, 83 to 85 something like that and you want to look at the lowest uh, lowest price and just go and buy a few of them uh, at the minute i'm looking at a page of three kagawa borman and uh and uh farming so kagawa is going to be next on my shopping list in terms of who i want to buy here uh again just look for ones that you can bid on bid on them 750 800 coins a piece absolutely easy you, you want to mass bid or you want to bid late at night both ways are very good methods of making coins. Both ways are very good methods of actually winning the cards as well. Um, some of them you will get outbid on. That's a given. However, a lot of these you are going to win. And it's a great win as well. It's, it's a nice victory. 900 coins is even a nice price to pay. Um, it's a good victory as well when you get these cards. Because they're going to go up. And if we do, out of nowhere, get a Bundesliga Player of the Month these prices will go crazy people will start panic buying people will start buying everyone so it's nice to have them in the club and it's a low risk investment because these are going to go up no matter what no matter what spcs we get if it has an 83 rating requirement these cards are 100 going to go up now there's also another route you guys could go and that is slovakia slovakia would be a pretty good no or, or low risk uh way to to invest here i'd probably pick like Pick up anyone, honestly. I'd probably pick up all of these guys. 500 coins is a pretty decent price. You're really not going to miss out on a whole lot of coins here if you pick them up. 350 as well. Decent prices to pick these guys up. It's nice to have a few of them. There's a Hertha Berlin player there um, for for a right back, sorry, from Slovakia, a Hertha Berlin player. That is gold. I pick him up too. Probably a very, very good investment, a sound investment to make there because it covers two different bases there as well. Pekuric. Pe Pe Covers two different bases, gets you uh, Slovakia, gets you Hertha Berlin, gets you Bundesliga. Nice few bases covered there as well. So even if we don't get this SBC, it's nice to have these players in the club. Kuka is also another one. It's a nice base to cover, you know. It's a Slovakian. He's rare. He plays uh, as centre mid. It's a decent, decent investment. Plays in the same uh, league as Skirtle. So it's nice to pick up a few of these because they're low risk. In fact, most of them are no risk investments. You know, you can pick them up for discard price and then discard them if you really want to. And it's just a great way to make coins, truthfully. And not only is it a great way to make coins, but it's a great way to save a lot of coins on the SBC and save a lot of time on the SBC as well. A lot of people, what they don't realize is having the players in the club before, not only does it save coins, it saves a whole lot of time. Because when an SBC comes out, the first thing people do is they rush to the market and try and buy all these players and try and flip these players, try and do all that stuff, try and get the place for the SBC. When in reality, if you already have them in your club and you've pre-invested and you've just been safe about it, saves a whole lot of time and it's definitely worth doing. To round off this video, I decided to go and make a few gold upgrade packs. Not entirely sure why. I just like gold upgrade packs. I don't do a whole lot of them on the road of glory, so I thought I'd go ahead and do a few, just three, on the money account because why not? I just have the players in my club. We might as well. We might as well finish off with some gold upgrade packs. It's always a nice way to finish off a video. But to round off, I'd probably say it's nice to just get the investments made, especially the 83 investments from the Bundesliga. It's probably the best way to go because they're no risk. And no matter what SBCs do come out with 83 rating, you will make yourself a decent amount of profit on those cards no matter what. And if it is Bundesliga Player of the Month, you've hit the absolute jackpot and you're making a shed load of coins no matter what. So hopefully, this video was helpful to you guys i do want to keep making these speculation videos talking about new spcs along the way investment guides trading tips that sort of stuff so let me know down below if you want to see more videos like this because they are some of my favorite videos to make so i'd be more than happy to make more videos like this uh, i just want to see your feedback down below and uh, and see what you guys want to see so let me know down below if you want to see that thank you for watching this video and thank you for the support on the channel recently uh we only hit 50k a couple of days ago and we're already at like 50 50 point eight 50 thousand seven hundred and fifty so that is pretty mental because anyway we hit 50k i'll tell you exactly when we hit 50k we hit 50k exactly a week ago uh we're getting like 100 subs every single day it's mental thank you all for the support i really do appreciate it and i'll see you lads later